Yo, what it is, it's Young Casey Veggie. You're now tuned in to the Good is Gold Show. Swag, swag. Now also looking to get back into the postseason are Sean McVay's Los Angeles Rams. And in his third year as head coach, it was only his first time not winning the division or making the playoffs. 2020 brings a lot of new changes. You got a new stadium, new uniforms, new logos, and most importantly, new faces replacing familiar faces. No more Todd Gurley has people wondering what to make of this backfield. And as much as it sounds like running back by committee, I think second round pick Cam Akers is going to be a dude and he's going to eventually become that guy who takes the majority of the touches, though there is potential of him getting vultured in short yardage situations by veteran back Malcolm Brown or undrafted rookie Xavier Jones, while Daryl Henderson, the third round pick from last year, heals from that hamstring injury that he just recently got. So that run game, super important because it dictates how the Rams love to throw the football which is out of that play action scheme that closely resembles their zone running plays out of those condensed formations. And dude, they get those receivers involved in the blocking too. And speaking of receivers, that is definitely a strength of this team with Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, and then now new rookie Van Jefferson. He's been the talk of Rams camp for his football IQ and ability to get open. Over on the other side of the ball, it's an athletic defense. You got two elite players that power it all, Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey who, by the way, Ramsey just got paid big-time money to stay in L.A. with A.D. in the Rams long-term, which has got to be something exciting for Rams fans. One of their other offseason moves to help out Aaron Donald was bringing in defensive lineman Ashawn Robinson, who unfortunately is one of two players to start the season off on the non-football injury list, along with recently drafted outside linebacker Terrell Lewis. They're going to miss Corey Littleton at inside backer, and... The lack of depth at that position does leave some reason to be concerned. So what they do, they went to the waiver wire to claim Denver's Justin Hollins to shore up the depth. And speaking of Denver, the team's new defensive coordinator is Brandon Staley, who worked in Denver under Vic Fangio. And if Staley's scheme looks anything like Fangio's, it probably means the Rams will be in a lot of nickel and dime packages. Hence why they did load up at their safety position, which is another strength of this team. And I think that's going to in turn alleviate some of the pressure off the middle of the field. Overall, I think this defense will be in the top 13 in most statistics when it's all said and done. I think they start off with two big wins against the NFC East, two best teams, drop a road game to Buffalo, and then rattle off two wins before losing their first game to the Niners. Now, the only problem is their second crack at Jimmy G and the Niners comes on a short week which is why I actually am predicting the Niners to winning that one as well. I see the Rams losing on the road to Tampa on that Monday night football game and then probably splitting home games with Seattle to be good enough, though, to finish at 11-5, which is solid in this division. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, like, come on, man, really? That's ambitious. But just think about it like this. This team marched down the field in Seattle last year with a chance to win a tough primetime game and then if a kick goes inches the other way, last year's 9-7 and seven becomes 10-6. and six. But here's the thing, though. If things do come down to a kick, it's not going to be Greg Zerline anymore because now they've got a rookie in Sam Sloman. Despite all the losses, this is still a very talented football team in Los Angeles with a really good head coach and a quarterback who is only getting more comfortable in that offensive system. What's up? It's Lamar Odom. What's up? It's Lamar Rose Jr. What's up? This is Ryan Garcia here. White Mama here with my boy Jake. And you're watching The Good as Gould Show. The Good as Gould Show. Good as Gould Show. And it is good as Gould. One love. 